Hello, my friends. Well, it's getting more and more interesting each and every day. Don't you find it a little bit strange that Rick Satorum has won three in a row and he now has backing from the Billionaires Club? And prior to this, he was in third or fourth. Newt Ginridge seems to be a thing of the past and struggling. Now many must be thinking what I'm thinking. Have the Billionaires Club lost faith in Mitt Romney to be able to defeat Barack Obama? Or did certain billionaires bank on Newt Ginridge to get the job done because he is a superior debater and somewhat of a nasty curmudgeon at times. So, as far as I'm concerned, it seems a little fishy that Rick Sotorum all of a sudden has the money for Super PAC ads and has the Billionaires Club backing him and yet they seem to shuffle between the three of them. You know, I don't know how this is going to play out. But now that he has the fundage and he has the backing, is Rick Saptorum going to overtake Mitt Romney? Now, Mitt Romney right now, hands down, has the most delegates. In second place is Rick Saptorum. And he's close, but not super close. He's going to have to have quite a few consecutive wins to catch up. And Newt is looking like he's out of it. And Rod Paul is going to have to perform a miracle to catch up. But we all know that Ron Paul, I think, has a plan B. And the plan B is this. He is going to be an independent. He's not going to depend on all this support. The Republican Party has basically abandoned him. And the media pretty much can't stand him. So it's up to us to keep preaching the word of Ron Paul. We know the truth. We know that he's the only candidate that's willing to end the Fed. He's the only candidate that's willing to bring the troops back and restore liberty. He's the only one that wants to get us out of this crazy cycle of endless printing of money and spending. We are in a grave time in history and we need to cut back. We need to be a thousand times stronger than we were 10 years ago. We need to be on the track of recovery, not more spending, not more military, and definitely not more aid. So if you care about your country and you're a little leery about Ron Paul, research it. And the more that you look into it, you're going to see that he has some great ideas. So, I'm interested in knowing what you're thinking. Do you think the bankers and the billionaire boys are now supporting Rick Centorum because they have lost faith in Mitt Romney? And it may be because Mitt Romney is really not that different than Barack Obama. Take care, keep shining your light, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.